G'day everyone, welcome back to the player ratings for our FA Cup victory at Old Trafford, Manchester United 3, West Ham 1. Um, a good win, probably not. A good half an hour, probably yes. Where we completed, well, we were down 1 0, we won 3 1 in that last half an hour through an Aguirre own goal and two 90th minute goals from Garnacho and Fred. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a, it was a fantastic last half hour, but I just can't get over how bad that we are when we rotate our squad. And we have to rotate our squad. It's an absolute necessity if we want to be successful this season. And we are just so bad when we rotate. McTominay was okay, but you can just obviously see the quality difference. And a quality difference that is bigger than it should be between McTominay and Casemiro. Obviously, Casemiro was miles ahead, and that will never change. But, you know, there has to be... There has to be a little bit more or less of a gap in their quality. Um, when I, mean, I thought Sabitza played really well and the Fred substitution was perfect by Ten Hag. Um, really gutsy to keep Garnacho on the pitch that long. Usually Ten Hag would lose faith in Garnacho when he starts him after a poor hour to 70 minutes and take him off. But he you know, stuck faith in Garnacho and he won the game in the 90th minute. Um, the back four, shaky as always when we don't have Litcher and Varane playing. Good work not to bring Varane on and not panic. Um, Maguire played the whole game, but... Obviously gave the ball away a few times, got caught out of position a few times, and I'd love to give Maguire a six on today's ratings, but unfortunately I think it may end up being a five for him. Let's go and see his player ratings. De Gea gets probably an eight for me. Um, I thought he, I, I just think he's a fantastic. I thought he was in the first half probably either him or Sabitza was my man of the match. I thought they were both fantastic, but De Gea just saves us from so many horrific scenarios when our back four goes to shit. And that's why um, he's had a luxury this season of having Varane and Martinez playing in front of him. This season, uh, sorry, this game, sorry, um, Magaluf, it just, it really just doesn't hold up. Um, and De Gea does need to pull out a few worldies when he probably doesn't want to be. Uh, Delo, probably a seven for me. Um, I thought Delo was really good. I thought, I think Delo's been getting a few low scores lately. I think Delo gets a seven. I thought he moved forward really well. Um, didn't whip as many crosses in as he could have, but on the defensive end, he was also really good. And uh, we're getting... We're getting closer and uh, pretty much almost there to the Delo we know and love. Lindelof, uh, probably a six. Maguire's probably a five. Um, I think that's fair. I think Lindelof is definitely the better centre back. I just think Lindelof is so much better, uh, as is anyone when they're alongside a very good player. You know, Fred and Sabitza are, are always going to be better players when they're alongside Casemiro and Stegger being alongside McTominay. It's the same with Lindelof. He's a fantastic player alongside a Varane, especially a Martinez. But when you put him alongside Maguire, um, he's just a... You can't really do anything. He's just, he just has to change the entire way he plays. And um, that's why I think Martinez deserves so much credit this season when he had to, early in the season, rotate through so many stinger back partnerships. He just kept up that incredible form. And that's why Martinez deserves so much credit this season. Um, yeah, Maguire 5, just caught in a position so many times. Um, almost cost us a goal uh, that De Gea saved. And yeah, I mean, just... Not good at all. Malasia probably. I'll give him, if Delo gets a seven, I give Malasia. Well, I'll probably give him a six point five. I'll give Delo a six point five too. I think Delo and Malasia probably both a six point five. Um, I, th I thought that were. I think Malasia wasn't as good on the offensive end. Obviously, Luke Shaw's a better inverted left back, but I think and, and you could definitely tell the presence of uh, not having Luke Shaw being able to cross the ball in there. But I thought Malasia on the defensive end, especially in that last half hour, was really really good. He probably gets a six point five. Um, McTominay, he's going to get a low score. I'm giving him a six because I don't think there's any point um, giving him a low score. Uh, he hasn't started in quite a while. He's still coming back from injury, but it probably wasn't an injury issue that game. It was probably just running around, getting in the wrong areas, and you could just definitely see the quality difference when Casemiro came onto the pitch, and that is definitely when the game changed, when McTominay went off. Um, I'm not giving him a five. I'll give him a six because um, I thought he was quite good in some areas. Uh, Sabitzer, seven. I thought, oh, wow, I'm surprised about that. I thought, I thought our midfield was getting bullied in the first half, but I thought one shining light out of that midfield was Sabitzer. Um, I don't, you can play as well as you want, um, being on loan from Bayern Munich and still have Scott McTominay beside you, not being able to do anything on the defensive end. I thought Sabitzer did really well with what he had and he gets a seven from me. Uh, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno Fernandez. I'm giving him a seven because he's a madman. Um, I thought he probably didn't have his best game today, but he just plays every single game without fail and without making any big error. He just, you know, he just does his job week in, week out. He was the real captain today. Let's be real. He was the real leader. Um, Maguire had the armband on, but Bruno was the captain. Uh, yeah, seven. Anthony, probably a six. Yeah, 
Typical Anthony performance where he can't really game the game. Garnacho, 7, 7.7. 7. He gets a 7. He got his goal. Um, I thought he was just really good down that left all day. And as I said, Ten Hag usually sometimes brings Garnacho off around that 60 to 70 minute mark when he does end up having a little bit of a poorer performance. And the game wasn't really for him at a lot of the time. But in that last half hour, as did a lot of the players, he really stepped up to the plate. He took a few really good touches and he ended up getting that cracking goal from the edge of the box. Um, really, really well done by Kalachu. And he gets our winner. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to get man of the match too. I know who my man of the match is though. That fair cost. 6.5 for me. Yeah, 7. Uh, probably 6.5. Almost got that goal. It ended up being an own goal for Aguirre. Um... He won the ball for the... I'll probably get... Yeah, 6.5. I'd probably say he won the ball back for the Fred goal. Um, he got the rebound for the Garnacho goal. He was probably pretty much involved in all the goals. So, yeah, 6.5 is very reasonable for Vekor. In fact, no, I'm giving him the 7. I think it's unfair. I'm um, giving Vekor a 6.5. I think I think he was better than a 6.5. I think he was a 7. I think Vekor actually made a big, big impact to today's game. That, um, you know, playing Rashford down the middle probably wouldn't have done. As well as when he switched into that number 10 position, he was absolutely superb. And it seems like Vekor isn't that player you start in the number 10 position. But when you uh, bring some players off the bench, you, you can definitely move him there. Uh, Casemiro, for me, is the eight in the man of the match. I think he was just the game changer. Um, I think he was the... He was... Well, it's not Martinez, but he was the butcher in that midfield. He just absolutely chopped out for everyone. As soon as McTominay came off and he came on, he absolutely changed the game. And he almost scored that goal, ended up being offside. Um, if you talk about game changer, his name's Casemiro. And if you talk about the best midfielder in the world, his name's Casemiro. Uh, Martinez, probably a 6.5. Yep. Rashford, six. Fred, seven. Score his goal. I didn't even know Varane came on, to be honest. Well, I, I actually didn't know Varane came on. Ten Hag, he had to rotate. It was the player's fault that he can't rotate. Ten Hag, probably an eight, because he made the right substitutions in the end, and he overall just had a very, very good game. And Ten Hag did everything he could and ended up getting that 3-1 victory. And that was a result of Ten Hag's substitutes and his uh, and his plan to move their course to 10. Rashford up top, bring on to the wing. It, it works so well whenever we do that in the last 20 minutes. So the midwife vote, I think Garnacho's going to get man of the match here. And Garnacho does get man of the match. I mean, he's a young lad and he's doing some incredible things for you at the moment. Uh, well done, Alejandro Garnacho, a deserved man of the match. But for me, it's Casemiro. Thank you all for watching. Uh, when's our next game? Monday. We have Liverpool at Anfield. Big, big game. I'll see you all then. Cheers. And we are through the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Who, by the way, we are playing Fulham at Old Trafford. Hopefully we'll get through there. I think we will. Cheers.